Welcome back to another installment of Professor Charles S. Live. And today we're going to do a story time. Oh, story time. Oh, story time. Oh, story time. And today we're going to talk about this. Now, here's my thing, guys. Um, This story time did happen where my classmate was bullying people on campus for money when they were buying food on campus. So one day I get out of class. I had an English class with this person. We're just going to call him in. In was it was cool, but he lost brownie points when he did do one thing. I am against this whole bullying people to do things. Um, so what happened is we get out of class. Um, and, you know, me and In's, I wouldn't say friendship, classmate, being classmates, it was like night and day with us. Me and In were two different type of people. I think the problem with N was he always wanted things his way. Me personally, I'm like, look, you're not going to make people do things they don't want to do um, and everything. So let's get it went back into the story. So um, just want to give you a little bit of info about N. So I see in, in, you know, I'm in a student lounge where I usually study and hang out with some of my college friends, even though most of my college friends, crazy thing is, so we never had classes together. Maybe a few of us had the same te uh, professors or teachers. But um, I see in like checking, checking another like two other students like, yeah, run your lunch money. And I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just was like, nah, like I can't believe he said that. <laughs> but I mean, I wasn't surprised by N's behavior. N's done some crazier stuff than I've seen. And I'm just like, where is people, where's security at when you need them on campus? Okay. <laughs> Cause this is a college. So he's like, yeah, run your lunch money. I said, uh, excuse me. Um, look, look, we're classmates and all, but this whole bullying thing, you, you're not going to bully these two other college students for money. And on top of that, they were, they had disabilities which I'm not against it or anything, but my thing is you're not going to bully people for their disabilities. And even if they didn't have disabilities, you're not going to bully them. So I come over to the table and I said, uh, we have a problem. And he's like, what's that? I said, you're not taking their money. Oh yeah. They usually do that. When I come in here, that's what I do. I said, that's not what you're going to do today, brother. You know what I'm saying? I told him that straight to his face it was interesting because I heard people say, ooh, and I was like, oh, boy. Look, I ain't trying to start no fight or nothing like that, but people made it seem like I just was like, hey, I'm going to put him in check. It was more so like, look, I'm against this whole bullying thing, and you're not going to bully these students regardless of what they are. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, nah. I, I told the two young men, I said, hey, put your money back up, put it in your wallet. And I told them, I said, if you, if he comes back to you, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just like, how could you come to, to college to learn, right? But you're, you have the nerve and the audacity to bully people for money. And, and like I said, I mean, he was, by the way, a, a so-called musician. I mean, a few times he would call me. Yes, I hate that I gave him my number, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> At the time, I I thought he was a cool person. I mean, you know, sometimes looks can be deceiving. And you know what I'm saying? You can't always judge a book by its cover. But I found out that when he was doing the bullying thing, that's when he lost brownie points or just lost cool points with me, period. Because I was just like, nah, bruh, you're not going to do this. So... You know, Nick was like, man, I can't believe you. You're going to stop me from doing what I'm, you know what I'm saying, what I'm doing. And I'm like, uh, and yeah, 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 I did, buddy. You're, you're not going to do this. That's not, that's not right, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I felt bad because there were other people around and they saw this. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you would think, you know what I'm saying, common sense that would come in and say, hey, look, you would stop this from happening. <laughs> I mean, I knew my classmate. But I didn't know he was that shady about things and just ruthless. You know what I'm saying? Like, how would you like it if somebody just took your stuff and then, you know what I'm saying, used it for their own gain? I don't know if he was using the money for going places because apparently, I mean, I did know he was traveling a lot. So maybe that's the money he was getting from them was to do that besides the financial aid that person had in 
But I was just like, nah, bruh, we not having that today. Um, you know, and I think that kind of like drew a line between me and in, and that's why we kind of like never kind of became cool like we should have been. Cause I'm not I'm not with this bullying nonsense that he tried to pull. And then on people that, you know, have disabilities or learning disabilities and all that stuff. Nah, bruh. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I understand people, but like how you treat people that comes back to you. So, you know, he he actually I think he stopped. I don't know if he ever stopped or not. But I knew, you know, like if you coming around here doing that, don't don't even waste your time. But I think the problem is, you know, man, people see stuff, right? And like I said, he, I saw it. Other people saw it. But if you're not going to take the action to put a stop to it, why are y'all just letting this happen? Y'all seen this happen on campus. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying the security is great on campus because I talked about that in my other story time. But the thing is, you know what I'm saying? When you see something, you know, sometimes you have to stop people from doing things. And I just told, I'm like, eh, nah, bruh. Mm -mm. So we never got, became super cool like we could have been. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, nah, this bullying thing, you, you're not going, we ain't going to act like this don't exist. But like I said, don't bully people, y'all. Don't Bullying is not a cool thing. And this is my video for the day, guys. And have you learned something from this video? Looks can be deceiving, and yes, bullying is still around, even in college. <laughs> this is my story time with you guys. Have a great day, guys, and I'm out.